He is known for being a Welsh naturalist, traveler, writer, and antiquarian. He is recognized for his extensive observations and recordings of the geography, geology, plants, animals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish around him. His name is Thomas Pennant. In the picturesque countryside of Wales, a man by the name of Thomas Pennant left an indelible mark on the world of natural science and exploration. Born and raised at his family estate, Downing Hall near Whitford, Flintshire, Pennant's insatiable curiosity propelled him to become a renowned naturalist, traveler, writer, and antiquarian. Despite never venturing beyond continental Europe, his contributions were far-reaching and influential. As a naturalist, Pennant's keen observation skills and thirst for knowledge led him to study the diverse geography, geology, plants, animals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish that surrounded him. His meticulous recordings and first-hand accounts of his findings formed the basis for acclaimed books such as British Zoology, The History of Quadrupeds, Arctic Zoology, and Indian Zoology. These works not only expanded scientific knowledge but also influenced the writings of esteemed figures like Samuel Johnson. Pennant's passion for exploration extended beyond the natural world. He embarked on numerous journeys throughout Scotland and other parts of Britain, documenting his experiences and discoveries along the way. His travelogues, accompanied by beautifully painted and engraved color plates, provided a glimpse into little-known places and captivated the imaginations of the British public. With each tour starting from his home, Pennant recounted the stunning landscapes, customs, superstitions, and wildlife he encountered, often accompanied by his servant and skilled artist, Moses Griffith. Thomas Pennant's zest for life and his insatiable curiosity knew no bounds. Even in his 60s, he continued to pursue his interests and maintain a wide circle of friends. His robust health remained a constant companion until his passing at the age of 72, still residing at Downing. His legacy lives on through his vast collection of scientific works and art, now preserved at the National Library of Wales. Thomas Pennant's unwavering dedication to exploration and his invaluable contributions to the scientific community serve as a testament to the boundless possibilities that lie in the pursuit of knowledge. During a visit to Cornwall in 1746-47, Thomas Pennant found himself captivated by the world of minerals and fossils. It was there that he met William Borlase, an antiquary and naturalist, who ignited his passion for scientific study. Pennant's interest in geology and paleontology became his primary focus during the 1750s. In 1750, Pennant's account of an earthquake at Downing caught the attention of the Royal Society, and it was published in the prestigious Philosophical Transactions. This recognition paved the way for more scientific contributions, including a paper in 1756 discussing corneloid bodies he had collected in Shropshire. Pennant not only delved into the realm of scientific research but also put his geological knowledge to practical use. He opened the lead mine, which not only fueled his curiosity but also provided financial support for improvements at Downing, the estate he inherited in 1763. While his scientific pursuits took center stage, Pennant was also involved in the Society of Antiquaries. However, after his marriage in 1760 and due to financial constraints, he resigned his fellowship. He believed that his happiness would be permanent, and he could focus on his own retreat without the need to engage with society. As Pennant's financial situation improved, he became a patron and collector of art. His collection included works commissioned for their scientific value rather than mere aesthetic appreciation. Artists like Nicholas Pocock and Peter Paolo contributed to his collection, depicting topographical landforms and different climate types. Notably, Moses Griffith, a native artist, provided illustrations for most of Pennant's books. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.